Okay, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing my helmet. Um, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. This, this isn't right. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, today's video will be uh, my review on the Icon Airform helmet. The Icon Airform helmet. There's three reasons why I bought this helmet. There's style, safety, and price. In no particular order, they're not ranked one to three, they're just they're just points. So the first why, style. So I came from the half helmet riding a Harley Davidson. I wanted kind of that bandit look, that outlaw style. I didn't want like a race themed aerodynamic looking style helmet. Um, so this is one that fit the bill. There's others in there like the Biltwell Lane Splitter, like the Simpson, I believe it's the Simpson Bandit, I think, Ghost Bandit. Um, so that style, that's kind of what I was going for. And you can kind of see, I'll just turn it a little bit here, kind of how it, how it looks and how it, uh, it's really minimalist um, style helmet. And there's not much, not much to it. It's very uh, plain, but that's the kind of look I'd wa I, I wanted to go for. I love this, this uh, shoulder roll here, this neck roll thing. It's amazing. It looks, it looks good. It's a good looking bucket. So that was the first point, style. The second reason why I got this uh, safety. So as mentioned before, I came from the half helmet, the little brain bucket, and it literally offered no safety at all, realistically. So anything was an upgrade, but this thing had, um, this thing has a DOT rating, also an ECE R2205 rating for safety, which you know, is, is light years ahead of what I was currently wearing. And price, I mean, it's not very expensive, so I didn't mind, um, didn't mind dishing it out in knowing that I might not like it and I might, might not wear it. Um, so price was huge. I think it was a sub $200 on sale, I believe. So yeah, you put those three together, style, safety, and price. It's kind of like a, like a kind of an unbeatable, unbeatable value for, for a bucket, for a full face lid. Um, so those, that's why I got it. Okay, so key features for myself, I really enjoyed the safety features, like I said, EC, DOT. Um, at first, I did really like the sun visor, so it ships with a clear shield, and then it also has this uh, tinted sun visor. Um, I really enjoyed this feature uh, when I first bought it, I thought that was perfect for you know, daytime riding. 98% of the time I'm riding like this clear with the sun visor up, or I mean down, sorry. Uh, and then like the random time I'm riding at night, so 2%, I just pop that up and I ride with the clear shield. It, it, it was a, it was a no brainer for me at first. Uh, I'll go through that in a little bit as to why I think that's not a good thing. Fit, I found the fit uh, absolutely perfect. I, I tried on multiple helmets in this, in this price range. So in the sub $200, I, like I said, I was just getting into it. I didn't want to, uh, you know, toss away $500 just in case, you know, I didn't even like it. So this is sub $200, but I found this was a perfect fit. The, another very close competitor that I was considering heavily was the Bell Qualifier. And I just found that the Bell Qualifier a little too, I think they're the same medium intermediate oval. Um, but I just found the bell qualifier a little too wide at the top. I had a little more play like left to right play. Um, this one felt absolutely perfect in the cranium area, like the left and right and front and back. 
Um, the cheek pads though were a little bit tight. So I wear, this is a medium, uh, 58 centimeters, I believe. And like I said, the, the top fit was perfect, which is the number one. The cheek pads, all I did was I got a pair of large um, cheek pads. So cheek pads that were in the large. So same shell size, just um, a little bit thinner cheek pads and it, it worked out absolutely perfect. It, I can honestly wear this helmet all day. No pressure points, no issues at all in comfort. It's amazing. Um, I really enjoyed the viewport, which is another big bonus for me coming from a half half helmet. I felt like I didn't lose any any visual um, restrictions. I didn't I didn't have any visual restrictions. It, it felt great. Like I can see basically down to my speedometer, um, and left and right the peripherals were were outstanding on this helmet. It comes with a little um, nose guard here. It does not come with a wind. Uh, or a, a chin curtain, or you cannot buy one. It, there's no chin guard made for this helmet. So if you haven't checked out my other video, how to make one, it's, it's up at the top right of the video. So in terms of venting, it's got the three at the front. You can't close these. So for motor vlogging, I just taped it. Um, there's got a vent right here. I'll close this. It's got a vent right here, very easy to activate. And it just vents right through to the back right there comes out let's see airflow is good price is amazing um one one thing that i actually did like a lot like i said earlier was i like that bandit that outlaw look and um from doing my research i, I noticed a lot of built well lane splitters a lot of simpsons uh, the bandits the ghost bandits whatever um, but this is not a very popular helmet, which, you know, I personally like a lot. I don't, you know, I, I'd, I'd rather not have something that every single rider has. So um, that was a big bonus for me. Um, the customizable portion of this isn't, wasn't a huge selling factor, but it was kind of cool. You can change out these pieces, obviously the shield, the drop down visor, and also these, these little, uh, whatever spoiler pieces here you can change out to, to whatever color you want as well not a huge deal to me i don't think i'd ever you know get that too in depth and, and color and whatnot from my helmet but uh, they're there if you like it so anyways so those are those are some of the key features like i said main thing were the, the fit obviously it fits it fits perfect like zero pressure points i could ride this all day um the safety, the style, and the price. So those are all pretty pretty key points for me. Now, in terms of cons, like I said earlier, um, it does not ship with or have a spin, uh, chin curtain for it. Um, so I made one. Like I said, if you haven't checked that out, it's in the top right of the, the uh, video. I'll, I'll link, it, uh, link it in there and in the description. Um, so that's not, not, not the worst thing, but one of the things that um, isn't the best on this helmet is the wind noise. Like, so I'm coming from a half helmet, which the wind noise is crazy. You have to ride with earplugs in all the time uh, just to make it bearable and not lose your hearing within a year. Um, so I didn't know what to expect, but this isn't, I, I thought it wasn't the most quiet and then I just had a buddy message me the other day who, who bought this helmet and read online that this lever right here for the sun visor, this is where like 80% of the wind noise comes in from right there. And so I was out on the ride the other day and I just kind of covered up my hand and it was unbelievable how much that covering that up made such a big difference. So, which totally switched my whole thought on this sun visor and the clear clear uh, shield with the sun the tinted sun visor so what I did um, I went ahead and picked up a tinted shield and a clear clear sun visor you might be thinking well that's kind of weird it's uh, you know why do you want a clear sun visor that doesn't make really much sense but hear me out. So, like I said, 98% of the time I'm riding clear shield down, 
and sun visor down. And then the two percent time, I will flip this up and just ride clear sun visor. Makes sense, sure. Um, but my new thought process is never really use this sun visor. You know, only when I need to, when I'm riding in, in at night. And I'll get to that whenever I do to mod that. But so I'm going to try to eliminate this this uh, lever here and put a piece of tape over. I already have done that. I peeled it off for this video, but you put a piece of tape over this and it cuts down so much of the wind noise. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix up the helmet right now and, and change these out and show you how easy it is to, to kind of do that. So these pieces right here, they literally just pop off to left and right. And then to get the shield off, pull it all the way up and then pull these levers and it should just literally pop off there and there. So there's that. So for the sun visor, I think you literally just pull out There's one side, there's the other. Okay, so everything's out. Now to put them in for your sun visor, you might be thinking, oh, that's like still kind of weird, but it makes sense in my head. So pop that in that side. And there, there's that one. So what I want to do is, like I said, eliminate this lever, right? Uh, put a piece of tape over it, shave this down, get rid of it. I'm not too sure yet. Um, and then just kind of put like a little tab over on the side or something like glue a piece or tape a piece. I don't know that I could just, if I need it, just pull this down so I can have the 2% time that I'm riding at night. Okay. And for the 98% of the time I'm riding, every other time, I'm just wearing the visor. So there's little tabs here. Um, if you can see, there's a little tab here. And with this all the way up, after you took it off, there's a little spot right there. So you wanna line up the spot, it'll just kinda of fit in and just, and just click it in. And then the same with this side, you should just You'll find that little spot there and click it in. And there, that's how easy it is to, to fit your a new visor and switch out like that. Okay, and then for these pieces, you can leave them off if that's what you like. Um, I'm going to put them back on. There's literally just two little pieces, tabs that fit into here, little notches. So you just push it in and push that in. On this side, same thing. You just gotta find it right there. And right there. There you go. I also like how this uh, the visor has this like metal piece that sticks out that locks it in. I find that keeps it down pretty well. And I like how responsive um, the different positions are for the visor. It's very, very responsive. You can ride like this all day and it'll, it'll never blow up on you. It's pretty stiff. So that's a good feature as well. Another cool feature for me, uh, myself and why I picked this helmet is for motor vlogging. The chin bar on this is super flat. Like it's, there's nothing, there's nothing in the front here, so it's it super easy to attach my GoPro mount. So if anyone's looking into getting moto vlogging, this is a good, this is a good option. I mean, you tape the inside of these, these three vents, and slap a mount right there, and it's that's all you need. So for the internals, double D ring, pretty standard. So it works the best. I'll pop out. Pop out these, so it's some Velcro. And then 
two buttons on that. There's one cheek pad. Velcro. Second cheek pad. And then the top. Two buttons right there. And the whole thing just pulls right out. It's really, really easy to do. And if you get it off the front, you just pull down and pull them out. There you go. That's all out. It's assembled. Super easy. I think it's I think it's a unbelievable value for helmet. I mean, you get you get the safety rating, you get the the price, and you get the style. I mean, that's exactly uh, what I was looking for. And and then after I taped, found out about this. Um, the wind noise coming through the lever here, it's, uh, it, it, it changes the, the helmet completely. It, it makes it so much more bearable. I found myself having to wear uh, ear, ear plugs even with this helmet on, but now it's not even close. You don't, there's no need for it. So yeah, if, you, if, you're, if you're A, a Harley rider or a cruiser rider in general, and you're not looking for that sport bike style full face helmet, this is a great option. Um, if, you're, if you're looking for that bandit look, the style, and you don't want to spend the three, four, five, six hundred dollars, um, this is like I said, another, another really, really good option. So I highly recommend this helmet. So anyways, that's, uh, that's kind of my review on it. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If you have any comments, definitely toss them down there. Let me know what you think. If you bought this helmet, what your, what your thoughts are of it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the road.